Um, I know a lot of you are just getting started in the vending business, and uh, I really want to encourage you. It's a great, it's a great business to be in. I've been in so many different businesses. Um, uh, I'm 54 right now, so uh, let me let me list a few of the the businesses that I've been in and a few of the jobs that I've had over the years. Um, when I was younger, I was probably excuse me. Um, when I was when I was younger, I started out as a teenager working on a farm. We had. Um, a big farm up in Wisconsin. We had about a we had about a hundred acres, and we had dogs and cats and pigs and chickens and horses and cows. And it's kind of funny. We were in Wisconsin, and all of our neighbors were dairy farmers, and we had three cows, <laughs> and we didn't even milk these cows. I don't even know why we had the cows. All right, so when I was young, uh, we used to feed the horses, feed the cows and all that, shovel the manure. So I guess that would be my first job, but that wasn't a paid job. That was just something I did as a kid. And I've always had a good work ethic, I guess. Um, if you guys have kids, raise your kids to have a good work ethic. Make them work. Make them appreciate Hold on, let me take this phone call. So that was a. So that was the manager of a place that I am renting, and they were just calling me back. It's a new business I'm getting into. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it if you'd like. If you guys give me some uh, feedback, um, it's a second business I'm working on. It's something brand new for me. I wanted to tell you my journey into the vending business, how I got started. But let me back all the way up to when I was a kid. I, I as I said, I used to work on a farm, and then uh, I, I started working on a farm for pay when I was about 17, 16. And what we would do is we'd go into cornfields and we'd actually pull the tassels off of the corn stalk. What they would do is they would plant two types. And then uh, if we pull the tassels then, uh, off of all of the corn, let me pull the tassels off of all of the corn. Pull the tassels off of in certain rows. Row, and the other rows, row, what they would do is they would plant the other rows would be pollinated. So have two pollen all have two types of corn pollinating. Have a tassel of corn pollinating. Let me pull the tassels off of the corn. Let me pull the tassels off of from one we corn stalk to the other row of corn, the row of corn one row of corn, one corn the other row of corn, corn. So, so that makes sense. The, so the pollen from the then, tassel, uh, the, the pollen the tassel the tassel off of all the, the corn, corn pollinate the in certain row of corn stalk to the other corn stalk. From one corn stalk to the other row of corn stalk to the corn. You know, that makes sense. You have the pollen. That makes sense. Corn pollinating. So we were creating a hybrid corn. It was a stronger corn. It would um, it would withstand um, the weather, the the wind, the rain, the hard rains. So that was probably my first job. And with that job, I was able to save enough money to buy myself my first car, which was a '69 Camaro. It was rusty. I spent um, six hundred dollars on it. I love that little car, you know. It's a beautiful shape, I have to tell you that much. Uh, I came to Dallas when I was 18 with that little car, and then it ended up dying as soon as I got here. My first job was uh, busing tables at a Denny's. And I used to be an artist. I mean, I loved art, I loved painting. And so I, my first business that I owned where I wasn't working for someone else was a small little art gallery in a flea market. And I never really made any money because, um, as my girlfriend told me at the time, it's a luxury that people can't afford. I was doing original oil paintings and I was selling my paintings for probably $300 a piece. 
and the girl that I was dating at the time was pointing out to me that people could buy a print with a frame for 50 bucks. And that's where she was telling me that it's a luxury that people can't afford. So I never really made any money on that. Another business that I owned was a recording studio. And I partnered up with I partnered up with a friend of mine who I worked with. I guess he wasn't really much of a friend. He was an acquaintance that I worked with and he was a musician. And I being an artist he wanted me to do the artwork on the covers of the albums and he would help people do the engineering and we got ourselves a little studio and we set it all up and we were ready to go and then his cat had a problem and he had to take the cat to the vet and he spent the rent money his portion of the rent money on taking care of his cat and it really bothered me that his cat was more important than his business. And what happened was, I was so fed up with the fact that I had to keep paying all these bills, and he would always pay me later. He never had the money on time. And uh, we ended up closing that business down. So I have to say, the vending business is probably one of my favorite businesses that I've started it's it's good pay it's very consistent pay you know you don't have to twist people's arms to pay you what they owe you it's not like you create a product and then you don't get paid you know it's a it's a really good job I highly recommend it I'm wanting to wrap this up because I see my battery is dying on me so, that will be the video of the day. Do I have any tips for the day? Let's see. Um, here's a tip of the day. I believe in the Bible, okay? So, um, let me take this from the Bible. It says, what a man sows, he reaps. And sowing means planting. Reaping means harvest. Whatever you put into the earth, you reap. If you put seeds of tomatoes in the earth, you receive a harvest of tomatoes. If you put generosity into the earth, you get generosity. If you put wisdom in the earth, you get wisdom back. If you give your dreams away, you get more dreams. If you, you know, whatever you give away is what you're gonna receive. Give away love, you will receive love. So that's my tip of the day, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I love the feedback. Thank you guys. Thank you ladies. I'll make another video tomorrow. Have a good day. Please hang up and try again.